Hello and welcome and today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. I'm going to be helping myself out. I'm playing as a Jefferson this time. And basically this boils down to I found Titans and I wanted to use them and I wanted to do something fun with it. So I decided like what could be fun to do with the Titans. I mean it's not a solo cell phone run at that point you know. And I ended up deciding that it would be fun to use the Saigon set and just see if I can get through the entire game. I know people use Saigons for normal and then just kind of start upgrading this, the set into better items. But yeah, you you can definitely go deep with Saigons. I saw some people on uh, forums saying that they went all the way through Nightmare with it. And I was like, well, can I do hell with Saigons? So yeah, now I've equipped the entirety of Saigons and... For the rest of normal, we, we are basically immortal. Like, this is better than most of the gear that I usually use. So, yeah, everything is just randomly dying. It's great. And here is Andariel. Andariel just, yeah, getting absolutely murdered. There's no other way of describing this. So, bye bye, Andariel. And nothing spectacular happened in Act 2. So, here's Duriel. This is Player 5 Duriel. I kind of forgot to scale it back. So, yeah, Player 5 Duriel. Takes a while, but there's no threat. Like, my life total isn't even moving. Oh no, I took 20 damage, oh no! So that was Duriel, and here's Mephisto. <laughs> Bye Mephisto. As always, we check out the Hellforge as I clobber some uh, maggots over there. Those were maggots without a pulse, they were not into Slipknot. And here's Diablo. I run into his uh, lightning because he can eat my lightning, so bye bye Diablo. Yeah, normal is just very easy with this setup. I also am not at a level where I can equip Titans yet. That's uh, later. That's after normal. So this is just me using a random javelin and being like, yup. I believe my random javelin had like some IAS on it, but still, like, th you could do this with your base weapon. It wouldn't even be difficult. So here we are at Bale and Bale normal. Yeah, very high lightning resist, but it really doesn't matter. Like, nothing matters to this Amazon in normal. So once again, we go poke, 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 and bye-bye. And then we get to Nightmare. This is the point where people usually start switching out of Sagas, but you can see as we attack Antario that it's still going fine. It's getting a bit slower, but it's still doing fine. This is with the Titans, by the way. So yeah, we just poke, poke, poke Mama Smurf a bit, and then she dies. And once again, nothing special happened in Act 2 Nightmare, so yeah, here's Duriel. The thing with this challenge is, like, usually you, people use, uh, yeah, Saigas up to the end of normal, beginning of Nightmare, so I didn't expect any problems. Like, when people are doing things for efficiency's sake, it should be fine. So anyway, that's Duriel. And here's Mephisto again in Nightmare. And anyway, so yeah, the, the whole point of this is just to get to hell. Like, I, I expected no trouble in normal or Nightmare. That's, that I, I fully expected to fully face walk that. So Mephisto, you can you can see the uh, killing speed starting to go down though. Okay, here's my uh, Hellforge, and I get an Umrun from Nightmare Hellforge, which is great. Those died, and here's Diablo. The, this is the first fight that sped up, so uh, yeah, this is taking a while. This is like a few minutes of poking him, but nah, not minutes. This is like 30 seconds or something slowed up. And here are the Titans on Nightmare. Still just not a threat whatsoever. Yeah, the entirety of normal and nightmare was just like by and we're through. I did pimp out my Saigon set by the way. You'll see in a second. As we go ahead and poke Madog down. Madog down, Madog down. And this is uh, me getting to bail, so bye-bye, minions. And Lister, who is usually a giant threat, just absolutely obliterated. Uh, yeah, Jefferson is one of the best bail running characters in the game, and you can see why. And 
and Bill Nightmare is the first fight that actually just gives me a bit of trouble. Not not in the sense of that I'm taking a lot of damage. I mean, this this build just keeps on going. I was expecting to get into trouble at this point, but but he is very lightning resistant, so he just takes a while to kill. And with that, we head into hell. So this is my setup right now. And this is my double armed Saigon set with the diamond in the shield. And the titans, as I said, I found really good titans, so I wanted to use them. And these are the charms. So that's basically all I have. Oh, my, oh, you can't see my rings. My rings are a raven and some random resist. And uh, the amulet is a random resist as well. Uh, the smith, yeah, definitely taking a while. We almost found an arachnid uh, off of him. That's why I showed it. And this is my skills right now. And here's Andariel on hell again. And I I really expected to be in trouble at this point in the run. Like I expected Sagas not to do this well, but we are just keeping on trucking. So yeah, just not much going on, just Andario going down easily. And here's the first point of trouble. This is Radamant in the sewers on level 3. And this is where we encounter our first big group of lightning resistance that we can't really dodge. So we have to like, like kite around them a bit. But as you can tell with the mercenaries help this is still just fine. We get through this for sure. Valkyrie coming in as well. And then we get to the slower part of this run. So this is the maggot lair where everything is either physical immune or lightning immune. So we start something that we will do a lot in this run. We start to poke things. Luckily we don't have to poke everything. We can run away from our problems like we do in real life as well. And yeah, just walk around them and go away. Then we go to the Salamanders in the Claw Viper Temple. Where I actually find a long stuff. Which I found really funny. The Serpent Lord finding it in the Claw Viper Temple. I thought it was really funny. Then we get to Torrush's Tomb. Where we do a lot of save and exit aim. Because Lightning Immunes are a dick to us. So yeah. So I see the fire immunes again and exit away. And kickaboo, there are some fire of uh, lightning immunes and uh, bye bye. After all, we do get a real reasonable spawn and end up at Duriel, whom we poke down again. And yeah, you can see that this is still taking a bit longer than in Nightmare, but just not that dangerous. And like, I expected way more trouble during this. Like, I expected this run to be pretty hard. Okay, and here is Act 3. This is the nightmare for every single Java Zone that has ever existed and played uh, through the game on herself. So everything in this act is lightning immune. Well, basically everything. So I'm just kind of like trying to run through. I'm. Th this is the speedrun strat. Don't do this. Just trying to get through, run through. And I end up just, yeah, just locking myself in and barely surviving and saving and exiting. And here's the same thing again. This is me attempting number two for basically shits and gears. I was like, okay, I, I'll just see how far I can get. I did get further than the first time, but I see see the fanaticism aura. I see the lightning immune, and I'm just like, nah, man, this ain't happening. So I do something that I usually don't do, and I start poking. And yeah, I just go through the forest one enemy at a time. And yeah, that's all there is to this. This is a long session of poking stuff. And then we get to Lower Kuras, where I was like, yeah, I'm finally out of the forest. Things will be not lightning immune. And they were lightning immune. Yay. But this time we can run away from our problems again. Like we basically told the enemies we were getting some milk and some cigarettes. And we were like, bye bye. We try and enter Travinkel and it's just not happening. We almost died to the blizzard. Our resists are pretty low. So we start poking again. But at this point, I'm pretty off it. So at, at one point, I'm just like, yeah, man, I've been poking for two and a half hours, maybe three at this point. I usually poke around for like 20 to 30 seconds and then I'm done poking. And yeah, I just decide to run away and do what I want to do and leave. 
And then we get to the Durance of Hate, which is full of malls, which we have to poke again. So poke, 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 poke. But we end up at Mephisto, whom actually dies again. So yay for Charge Strike. The Jefferson is an excellent boss killer. If you just want to do some boss killing, the Jefferson is definitely your girl. So that's Mephisto, not much dropping, but it's okay. And then we get back to our regular scheduled programming of absolutely obliterating everything in fucking size, which is great. It's a very big relief after all of that poking around. Until we get to the damned and the city of the damned. So yeah, here we are again, poking again. And uh, yeah, luckily I need to clear all of them. I went cartographer uh, percentage on this one. We end up at Hefasto after a while, who actually almost kills us in one punch. Like, we were at full HP and he almost one-shot us. He's like, yeah, no, fuck you, dude. You, you're using Saigons. Get wrecked. We do end up killing him and we clear our Hellforge. So here's our Hellforge. Yo, that's not much. And here is, uh, yeah, another thing that I uh, poked through. There was a lot of poking in the final few acts of this game. So yeah, who would have guessed, a Javazon, not a big fan of the Grand Vizier of Chaos being physical immune and lightning immune, but we did get through it, so here's Diablo Hell. And yeah, th this this zone is just made for this, like Charge Strike, even with this very subpar equipment, Hell Diablo is just like, bye-bye. I don't know why I ran from that lightning, I could have just stood there, it would be fun. Best drop of my life, by the way. Here, once again, we have a lot of fans that are all trying to swarm us, but we just walk around them and ignore them. I find a treasure, so that's a Reaper Stall, which I give my mercenary. And not 10 minutes later, I do end up finding a War Pike as well. So, what I did for the rest of the act was just switch them wherever I needed them. So, on the pieces where I needed more crowd control, I used the trash. I also crafted this charm, by the way. But yeah, basically what I did was when I needed crowd control, I gave my mercenary the reaper stall. And when I needed more crushing blow, I gave my mercenary the war pike. But that uh, explains why things are happening. And this is a very safe ancient spawn. I was like, okay, the ancients, that's gonna be rough, right? Like, I'm wearing Saigons. Like, how, how easy can this be? Well, pretty damn easy. Look at it. I'm just, like, picking through them. At this point of the run, I was like, man... This is way too easy, like, where's the challenge? I, I really thought this would be a very hard run to do, like, I legit tried to help myself out with the titans and stuff, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need titans, like, just Saigons can't be good enough. But apparently, when you pimp out a Saigon set pretty damn hard, it's really good. Like, I, I don't have max resist or anything, and I'm just, like, plowing through the game. And yeah, the Javazon is one of the best Bale killers in the game. As you can tell, like, this is hell Bale. I'm wearing the Saigon set and I'm still like... Pfft. And yeah, here are the minions of destruction again on hell. And it just doesn't matter. Like, we are completely obliterating it. Like, on single player, the Javazon is just the best Bale killer bar none. You just plow through it so hard. And here is the final bail fight. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of poking around, so I sped it up quite a bit, as you can tell. But it, it still went perfectly fine. So here's my final skills. This is what I did. I ended up with a good uh, Valkyrie. And here we are. And this, those were my stats. And this is Guardian Saigon. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.